Japan is flourishing with all the innovations in the field of robotics with multifunctional as well as humanoid robots. The Japanese domestic market has already started using these innovative and coolest robots to skyrocket productivity and enhance customer engagement. Robotics in Japan has left the world in awe with their mind-wrecking innovations. Let's explore the new fully functioning female robot that has impressed the global tech market this year. Recently, fully functional female robots were released in Japan. Did you know that the top 10 industrial robotics companies in the world are primarily based in Japan? Shocking, isn't it? It also has the highest concentration of robot workers in the entire world. We'll be taking a detailed view of Japan's fully functional robots in this video, so quickly subscribe to the channel for regular doses of shocking tech updates. One of the successful robot projects from Japan is called Geminoid F. A Geminoid F is a unique kind of android that is designed to appear like a particular individual rather than just vaguely resembling a human. Geminoid literally translates to like a twin and is derived from the Latin word genius, which also means twin. Your Geminoid will resemble you exactly if you had one. A Geminoid may have human-like appearance, but it lacks the mental capacity to act like one. Instead, it is remotely controlled or has simple actions like singing or saying hello already pre-programmed. Imagine being able to send a robot that looks just like you in place of going countless miles to see your family or perform. How would you control it remotely so that it spoke and acted like you? Since you are a teleoperation, remotely commanding a physical preference, a robot that is elsewhere, this is known as telepresence. The value of human presence is called into serious question by telepresence. Is a robot the same as you if it had a similar appearance to you and acts similarly to you? Does the robot's listener have a sense of your presence? Do you feel like you are there when operating this robot remotely? Researchers using remote controls on their Geminoid have discovered that when someone was actually touching their Geminoid somewhere else, it seemed like they had been touched. Why does Geminoid F have its particular appearance? Artistry is required to make a robot appear human. Ishigoro's lab is needed to use a 3D scanner to measure the traits of a lady in order to create the Geminoid F. They then create a plastic mold of the woman's face using these dimensions, which was utilized to create a silicone face for the robot with nearly comparable features. The skin on the Geminoid F's face and body is soft and flexible, unlike the majority of robots, which are constructed from rigid materials. One aspect of the Geminoid F that gives the impression of reality is her silicone skin. The Geminoid F's movements are another characteristics that lead credibility to her appearance. The 12 phenomenic octaves in the Geminoid F's eyes, face, lips, neck, and torso pump air through tiny valves. The Geminoid F's octaves are what gives facial emotions such a lifelike quality. She flutters her eyes, flicks, and smiles almost naturally. How do you feel after watching the Geminoid F's video? Do you experience amazement or discomfort when you see it? When people first view the Geminoid F, they frequently exhibit these reactions. Robot designers are interested in learning how our perceptions of and interactions with robots are influenced by their appearance. This may not be as crucial if you're creating a robot arm for a factory, but it is crucial if you're creating a robot that will be in close proximity to people. In fact, human-robot interaction constitutes a distinct field of science because it is so crucial. What types of robots do people enjoy interacting with and being around the most? Although it might seem logical that we would prefer to spend time with robots who resemble us, this isn't necessarily the case. Researchers have discovered that, up to a point, we seem to enjoy being around robots more when they develop more human-like qualities. Most individuals wouldn't want to spend a lot of time with an industrial robot arm, such as the one used to assemble cars and factories. While the eye cub may not appear exactly like us, it possesses qualities, such as huge, friendly eyes or smiling mouth, that make it simple for us to identify with. This makes it an extremely likable humanoid robot. However, as soon as a robot begins to resemble a human too closely, people start to feel uneasy about it. It's almost as if we can't rely on our senses to determine if the robot is real or not. It's challenging to feel secure around anything that might be deceiving us. The phrase, the uncanny valley, was coined by Japanese robotics professor Masahiro Mori in the 1970s to describe the point at which a robot resembles us so closely that we feel uneasy around it. Something that makes us feel uneasy or uncomfortable is usually described as uncanny. The term valley describes the decrease in comfort we feel when something resembles us too much yet not quite enough. You don't want your robot to be in the uncanny valley if you want people to feel comfortable using it. 
In addition to creating the Geminoid F, Horatio Shigoro also produced Geminoids for his daughter, who was four years old, and Ayako Fuji, a well-known news anchor in Japan. The Japanese woman who inspired the Geminoid F, where F stands for female, is still a mystery. The Geminoid F and other Geminoids aid in our comprehension of how our perceptions of a robot are influenced by its look. How effective is Geminoid F? The Geminoid F can be programmed to carry out a straightforward routine, or it can be managed remotely from a distance using telepresence. The person operating the Geminoid F sits in front of a webcam that records their posture, speech, and facial expression. The commands for the robot are then converted from this data and transmitted to it over the internet. The Geminoid F was built to be mobile so that it could visit scientific centers, exhibits, and labs all around the world. The Geminoid F was once set in a booth in Tokyo to deceive onlookers into thinking she was a woman waiting for a friend. She has also been used to promote things. The Geminoid F is assisting us in better understanding how people will respond to her presence and how people respond to operating her, whether she's employed in the lab or in field studies. What can it yet not do? Due to the fact that a person must typically operate the Geminoid F remotely, its capacity for autonomous behavior is currently constrained. The Geminoid F lacks some of the mobility capabilities that some other robots have because the goal was to create a robot that was simple to transport. For example, it cannot move its arms and legs. Additionally, the Geminoid F requires specialized extras like an air pump to fuel its motors and a computer to issue commands to it. Introducing the Geminoid F, the most well-known of a line of humanoid robots produced by Harushio Ishikuo Laboratories and the first to achieve true stardom in the film industry. The robot was created as a component of an ongoing study at Osaka University in Japan and is created to resemble an adult lady. Harushio Ishiguro, who created Geminoid F, claims that it offers the fundamental tools to elevate human-robot interactions as a new field of robotic term, Android Science, despite still being a work in progress. According to Ishiguro in a study article, synchronization between spoken utterance and lip movement is the most crucial technology advancement for the teleoperation system. The uncanny valley problem is somewhat mitigated by this, but extends beyond mechanical solutions. The Geminoid F, which was unveiled at the World Robot Conference in China last week, has a devoted fan base, with people waiting in line to meet it and take pictures with it. 